world. Something terrible happened here. What's up, YouTube? It is Max from Screaming Cinema. I am going to give you an exclusive tour today of my home theater. Excited about this one. I'm uh, going to share with you everything I got in here, if I like it or not, uh, if I can recommend it, and obviously tell you a little bit about it. This theater has been about two years in the making, and I've been planning it for close to five years. We built a house, so I was able to customize everything about it, speaker placement, installation, and slowly kind of add everything up until we moved in and can get everything uh, ready. So I'll leave in the notes below links to what I have in my theater, including speakers, receiver, projector. Um, so if you're interested, you can go ahead and take advantage of that. If you can go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have some more uh, home theater videos along with uh, a couple more reviews of my setup downstairs and obviously Blu-ray collections as always. So thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoy. All right, let's take a tour of the theater. Screen so big I can barely fit it in the shot. So starting off, we have the mini fridge, right now filled with waters, but sometimes soda, beer. Um, great to have right here, so you can just grab it while you're watching movies. Next up, I have my rear speakers. Um, these are actually in the ceiling. They should be down here, but with the uh, way we wanted it set up, we put them up there and I actually really like it. Um, it may not be up to what everyone thinks you should do with this sound, but you get a little bit of the height with it. Uh, it's angled down, it looks great. These are both uh, Yamaha speakers. Next up, we have the projector, the star of the show. This is a BenQ 2050A. Um, it's the home theater one, but I really like this projector. Let me pop it up here so you guys can see it a little bit better. It's got a cover here where you adjust everything. Easy there. Also has a dust cover for the light. I have it ceiling mounted. It's relatively quiet. Um, this was the biggest thing that I took and researched and looked at forever which way I was going to go. Decided against a 4K projector because a lot of them weren't true 4K, just pixel shifting. And the ones that were either didn't have the best reviews or were crazy expensive. I think this one was around five, six hundred dollars, and it's been amazing so far. By the time it burns out, I can either get a new bulb or switch out to the 4K at this point. But I really do love this projector. Probably the best, uh, maybe mid mid budget one if you're looking for one. So I'll go ahead and link it along with the uh, speakers and all the other electronics down below in the notes. But really like the BenQ. Moving on, we have the couch here. Nice ottoman, you can push back and uh, give you a few spots to lay back. Kick your feet up. And moving on over here, we have posters. Probably would have gone with a few more, uh, maybe some hardcore horror ones, but do have a couple kids, so can't be, uh, you know, staring at Freddy Jason or big knife when you're uh, watching Disney Plus doesn't really go together. So went with E.T., Goodfellas, and The Thing. I got these frames from Amazon. I was looking at frames for a while to figure out what I wanted and decided to go with these because it's actual wood, so it looks a little bit better, but it's not the, you know, few hundred dollar posters. Moving on to the equipment. Um, have a subwoofer here. This is a Dayton Audio. It's their 12 inch subwoofer. This thing is great. I was looking at speakers and although I did go um, a little bit inexpensive route for the uh, towers and center channel, I had some bigger, louder options, but there's a bedroom behind here. So we didn't want to you know, go too crazy, but for the subwoofer, when everyone's home, when we're watching a movie together or during the day when everyone's at work or school, Cranking this thing up is amazing. I'll show you a sample of it here when we pop on a movie to show off the projector in a minute, but highly recommend it. Have a pretty big room and it definitely uh, fills it up and there's no need for, for two for me. So that's the first piece. Next is the Polk Tower speaker. Have two there. Have a Amazon device there for turning on my lights and turning them off because the screen is so big it actually covered up the light switch. Next up, we have the Polk Center Channel, along with the Sony receiver. 
This is a Sony STR DH790. It is a 7.2, so um, really like it. Right now I just have uh, five speakers and the one subwoofer hooked up, but I do have options of adding in um, either either height speakers or I think you can potentially even add uh, up firing Atmos or Atmos all the way if I want to get in my attic there, but it allows me some, some flexibility for the future, so definitely like that. Small little Roku over there. And the main piece that we use when we're running uh, 4K movies or movies like that is the Xbox Series X. I have a couple movies and uh, video games up here that haven't made it back to their home yet. And now the screen. Like I mentioned, um, this is a 135 inch silver ticket screen. Um, I'll link it down below, but uh, looks a little washed out now with these crazy LED lights on, but I'll show you how we have it set up in a moment. But really, really like this screen. Has this uh, sturdy black edge material. Looks like it belongs. It's kind of part of the room. I didn't want to go with the retractable or cheaper one, so we kind of went with the middle of the road silver ticket one. Um, originally didn't know what size we were gonna go. I set up the projector and you can kind of focus in and out on it or size in and out of it to see how big you wanna go. And we initially were gonna go with a um, 100, 110 inch. And when I put this up here, I actually maxed it out and it looked amazing. And you know, why not go as big as you can? Covers almost the, the entire wall here. I'll uh, set the phone down to show you, but I think it's 10, 10 feet wide and almost six feet tall. I can't remember the exact dimension. Let's go ahead and uh, cut the lights off and show you the projector and screen and, uh, and theater lighting. All right, so we got the screen up and running here so I can show you guys. Go ahead and mute this for a second. But as you can see, it's pretty, pretty crisp, even close up. Screen does a great job. And uh, in a second, it's gonna pop to a outdoor scene so you can see what the colors look like. I love having the uh, projector ceiling mounted because you can walk in front of it here and not block anything. I'll shut up so you can watch a little bit of what it looks like here. Let's pop the volume back on. really doesn't do it justice on the phone, but when you're in the room, whether have it lights dim or dark, it literally just looks like a massive TV screen, so. And same thing with the speakers. When you get a Dolby Atmos soundtrack or nice uh, 5.1, you can hear things flying above you. Just a great experience. I'm actually excited to uh, check out another movie today on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Enjoy the uh, rest of the video.